I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage in Southern California. This is a 71 Corniche. It has the brake fluid hydraulic system that runs off of the 363 fluid. I can't see that. There's a really, 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 really small snap on there. I can see that. And I challenge somebody to find me flyers to fit those. No one has met the challenge yet. I look for years. Oh, there's the ball. So you got your snap ring, you got this holding washer that keeps the spring centered. Right? And then that steel ball there is supposed to seat against this housing once uh, once you get the pressure in it. Now the kits I supply and what I use have a nylon ball instead of that steel ball. And what that does is it seals a lot better. So it holds the pressure better. Plus there's a nylon ball on this style right here that has the taper that goes on top of here that this nut screws on. Plus there's a little O-ring in there. It's supposed to keep the gas in because this is where the gas can leak without this charge plug. Other than when the diaphragm breaks and uh, it, goes in, it goes into the fluid system. This is made of EPDM rubber. I don't know if silicon likes brake fluid, um, <laughs> it's not like suspension bushings that people use the silicon on or urethane, I guess, um, because the oil and all that damages the original rubber. I would, I myself do not like the idea of changing the rubbers on stuff. Uh, brake fluid takes EPDM. Mineral oil takes Buna or Viton, um, and they don't like to be mixed. When they came out with the mineral oil cars, a lot of people would use this kind of brake fluid in those and cause all kinds of problems. Because if you mix, if you put this mineral oil in this, that'll turn into a big round, mushy thing. It makes the rubber expand and deteriorate. Same with the O-rings. And vice versa, if you put brake fluid in mineral oil, it'll do the same thing for those rubbers. So it's not made to mix. So I don't know of anybody that makes these other than from EPDM. My father was brilliant in that he had a mold made back in 1980, I think. And I still get these made by a seal manufacturer at a pretty good rate, but they're still not cheap. 